Welcome Snack Tackers, my name is Jason and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first, let me remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the fun YouTube stuff. Now let's get talking about this product. Well, it's 2021! And that means it's time for Mountain Dew's newest Voodoo Mystery Flavor. Yes, they've been doing this reliably for the last two years. 2019 started off, 2020 kept it going, 2021 keeps it going strong! Mountain Dew is actually doing a lot of crazy things. Uh, recently, they had a limited release of Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew, which I couldn't get my hands on. It sold out very quickly. And they will be having a smashed apple coming exclusively to Kroger locations starting September 13th, if it's... It should be past September 13th by the time this video goes up. But, I digress. We're here for one thing and one thing only, and that is Mountain Dew's 2021 Voodoo Mystery Flavor! Now, I've already seen a couple reviewers talk about this, so I've got a pretty good idea of what the flavor is and what it's going to taste like. They've said, not to spoil it, that it tastes like a handful of Skittles. And, like, that's a few people. Like, I, I frequent the Impulsive Buy, and they said that, and, and some other places, including my sister, who tried it early. Uh, well, earlier than I did. I bought this when it came out, but it's been in my fridge for forever. This was purchased at- oh, you wrote in black on a cap? You idiot. Julasco, for a dollar fifty. Wow, could I be more moronic? Not really. Not really. It's clear again. Uh, I'll remind you of the last flavors. There was cotton candy, and what was it, candy corn? Editor, um, write what it was. Sorry to command you like that. Please? Okay. I didn't get a cup because it's clear. It's a clear bottle and you can see the color. That does smell like a handful of Skittles. But like a handful of Skittles that like... It doesn't smell very good. Let's give it a try though. Three, two, one, snack attack. That is not the flavor I'm getting. In the very beginning, it almost tastes tropical. But then, when I swallow it, the lingering flavor is cotton candy again. It tastes like tropical than cotton candy for me. I hate it. If I just gulp it down, it tastes like a handful of the tropical Skittles. But then my tongue tastes like cotton candy. And I hate it. I hate cotton candy artificial flavor. I hate it. Mmm. Darn. I've, no I've not liked a single one of the voodoo flavors. And this one continues to be on my no list. It's my no fly list. And it's got all the Mountain Dew voodoos. And all the, the Baja Blast that weren't Baja Blast. Mountain Dew has been very disappointing for me lately. First they bring back Mountain Dew Baja Blast, and I'm like, yeah! And then they release two other things in the Baja Blast line, and I'm like, yeah! But then it turns out they're not Baja Blast, because the base flavor wasn't Baja, which isn't even a thing! Sorry. I hate it. I hate it a lot. At first, it tastes like tropical Skittles to me, and then it tastes like cotton candy, and I hate that. And now, the lingering flavor in my mouth is cotton candy, and every talk, every breath I take reminds me of my hatred, and I seethe and get deeper and deeper into this hole of hatred towards Mountain Dew voodoo that grew year after year after year, and soon it must reach its apex. Either they must release some voodoo flavor that I enjoy, or I must destroy the thing I hate. I feel like I got a little carried away there. It's gonna be getting the snack tech pass. Out of ten. 
<laughs> ah! I'll be back. I am back. Out of ten. Four out of ten. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Three out of ten. Three, th three out of ten. 3.75. 3.5. 3.5. 3.5 out of 10. 3.5 out of 10. I don't like it. I would also like to say it is possible that due to my aversion to carbonated beverages, I might not be consuming this correctly. And you might be saying to yourself, what do you mean you're not consuming it correctly? How could you consume it incorrectly? Well, I feel like people don't take like one sip and then cease. I feel like it's like one, two, three, like it's a glug, glug, glug sort of situation. And I can't do that. Carbonation hurts my throat. I, I gotta do it. I think I've gotta like take a real big couple of gulps. Maybe that'll improve the flavor. Kind of did. No cotton candy. Just tropical Skittle. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Ah! Much better flavor! <gasps> what? This is... This is... What? What? How is this possible? How is this possible? Well, I have to... Renew the score. It's it's not terrible now. It's kind of tropical skittle leaf flavor. Little hint of 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 cotton candy. Oh my god. I've been doing soda wrong my whole life, but it hurts and I don't like it. The carbonation. I'm gonna review revise the the score to six out of ten. It's not bad. But now I'm gonna have an existential crisis, like, do I have to review all Mountain Dews like that? What about all the Baja Blasts that I didn't enjoy? Or the, the, the new Baja ones? Was it because I drank soda wrong? I don't even know. Oh, the Voodoo has three hands for the- this is the third year, so- three fingers, so. I've really- I, I've, I've lost my energy here, cause I'm- I'm like questioning all the times I reviewed soda on this channel and maybe I was just wrong. Like maybe I'm just objectively wrong with the way that I'm doing it. The question we asked around here is not, were all my ratings wrong that involved carbonation? No, it's would you buy it again and though I still would not buy it again right now, Baja Blast, the normal one is on shelves and it. I do adore Baja Blast. But I don't even drink Baja Blast multiple gulps at a time. Do you think it's even better if I did that? Oh, I've got something to do today. I'll see you in the next one. Or check TikTok, Instagram, all that. I'll see you in the next one.